what is going on YouTube it's a boy Billy Kibaki and today I'm going to show you how to download hand toolbox now the hand toolbox what it does is that it makes enabling the, the hand enabler a lot easier and it's like automatic so you just press it and it enable it for you and this um, hand toolbox will also help you with um, PKG linker so it's a very useful um, application to have on your PS3 so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing you want to do is go over to your hand ps3 folder and you should have this hand supported files like you should have this a few days ago so let's go ahead and delete that because it's not needed right now we, we're gonna download a fresh copy and what you need to do is go on this website I'll leave the links in the description and go all the way down to the bottom right here and just click download your download is gonna start so I'll just save this in my hand ps3 folder and I'll save it right here okay so once that's done go over to Google and you wanna type this ps3 exploit in Google and you're gonna see this page at the top make the ps3 great again so click on it and it's going to take you to their exploit page so up in the v3 hand tool tab right here just go down and download supports file click on it then your download is going to start right here so i'll save this to my hand ps3 folder as well and perfect that's all you need so let's go over to the hand ps3 folder right here so the new files you wanna click on it and you wanna open once you open it you just wanna drag these file to your USB stick so my USB stick is right here and you should have the old files so delete the old files if you have the old files on your USB stick delete them so I'll delete my old file off the USB stick mine says USB drive right here so the, drive, the, the files are now deleted so let's go ahead and copy over the new files to the USB stick okay so that's done now let's go back right here and let's close this tab down okay so what we need to do now is copy the hand toolbox and paste it on the USB stick so that's all you need let me go back and let's eject the USB stick okay so now let's place the USB stick in the PS3 okay let's bring up the PS3 now and hold on you can use you can run the exploit from the ps3 exploit page on your ps3 but as i said in my previous video i found that um miniweb works a lot better for me so remember if you're going to use miniweb you have to disable your antivirus for say an hour so the reason why I like using Miniweb because it's faster if I do it on the PS3 exploit page it's gonna give me fail and it's take a longer time so let's run this okay so that's my IP address so I'll bring the PS3 up now let's go over to the internet browser and enter the internet browser press start oh wait no press triangle first delete your history remember to do that press start and delete this now I'm gonna type the IP address that the mini webs give me that's it okay now go over to hand installer and you wanna initialize an installer again 
okay so there you go we got success so go over to launch and the PS3 will reboot so give it time until it comes back on Okay, so once your PS3 has been rebooted, you want to go back to your internet browser again. And you want to press start, delete this, type the miniweb IP address. And you want to go over to an enabler. Enable, initialize an enabler. Okay, success. Now go down and enable it. Okay, now let's go to package manager, install package file, standard, and let's install the toolbox. Perfect, now press circle, and there is the toolbox. Now if you don't follow these steps, you the toolbox will not show up. You need to download a fresh um, support file and you need to install it again. And then you need to enable and, and install the toolbox afterwards or else it won't show up. So if you press X, you'll see soft reboot and you'll see enable hand, um, hand enabler. And you have hand functions, hand function for DEX, um, hand functions for legacy, file explorer. File Explorer is a good one because you can exp you can explore the files on your PS3 system and you can go ahead and delete stuff and all that. But remember that you have to be careful because if you delete the wrong stuff, you can um, destroy your PS3 or something like that. And you also have installed packages from web server. So we're going to work on this in in another video and you have the toolbox settings you can update the toolbox from right here you can go on the PSXplate website from right here and it shows you the version of the toolbox you are running on and also if you go to an enabler this is like um, an automatic service that they've put like automatic um, step so it enable it by automatic you don't have to um, use any other stuff when you're using this one so I'm not going to enable it because I already have it enabled and you have like hand functions you can do um, an installer you can do the license dump so you can dump the, the ACK dot IDPS files from right here you can also inject license to your game and you can enable the debug for packages right here so it's a lot better you can do soft reboot hard reboot you can shut the system down so there's a lot of the the decks have the same thing but dex is for developers user only so if you're just going to use use the the hunt toolbox for just basic games um, don't use the dex version these are for like um, developers and people who wants to exploit the system further with their own um, implementations of files so this is a very good tool toolbox to have on your ps3 guys and also if you want to delete this even though i don't think anybody would want to delete it you can go all the way up to game data utility and you can just delete this right here and restart your system and the toolbox will be gone I know that you guys may have seen my multiman right here but the multiman does not work it comes back with an error so take your eyes off this guys it doesn't work right now so that's it guys thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video remember when you see that like button underneath the video and that share button press the like button press the share button and share it with your friends on social media so thank you guys and I'll see you in my next video.